Hey friends, in the last video we saw how the interviewer will be assessing you based on the four attributes. Now in this video we will talk about behavioral and hypothetical questions with some examples. I will also share some tips for success. Okay, so let's start. So what's a behavioral question? A behavioral question looks at how you have handled a specific challenge in the past to assess if you will be a good match for the role like communication skills, decision making, initiative, organization, time management skills, flexibility, leadership skills, and problem solving. Behavioral questions usually start with phrases such as tell me about a time ban, give me an example of, describe a decision you made. So interviewers are looking for an example of what you have done and how you have done it. They may follow up with more probing questions such as what did you do then or like what was the result. So how you can answer this type of questions? Using the STAR approach can help you answer this type of questions. Situation Describe the situation you were in or the task you needed to accomplish. Task Explain the goal you were working toward. Activity Describe the steps you took and the roles you play. Result Describe your accomplishment and the overall outcome. Now let's see examples of behavioral questions. Describe a specific problem you solved for an employer or team. How did you approach the problem? What role did others play and what was the outcome? Second, describe two specific goals you set for yourself and how successful you were in meeting them. What factors led to your success? Third, tell me about a time when you failed to meet a deadline. What did you fail to do and what did you learn? Now let's see about what's a hypothetical question. While behavioral question assess your past performance, hypothetical question or situational based question evaluate how you would handle a challenge you may not have encountered yet. Hypothetical question often begins with imagine that and are designed to assess your thought process rather than right or wrong solution. They want to know how you would approach a typical problem scenario that is related to your role or that Googlers have faced in the past. Examples of hypothetical questions are like Imagine you are in charge of organizing the grand opening of a new Google office in Bangalore, India. What steps would you take to plan this event? Second, imagine you are working on Gmail and a competitor starts charging a dollar five monthly fee for their product. How would you assess this situation and what recommendation would you make to your team? As I promised, I will share some tips for success. So first point is that listen carefully. Second, be concise. Third, think in terms of examples. And four, of course, don't forget to read the job description. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for upcoming videos. If you have any doubts or questions related to the Google Apprenticeship program, then feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. And you can also check my blog at www.thahood.com or you can put your queries below in the comment section. Thanks for watching.